start making some uh, fabric covered uh, bra strap elastic. It is good if you want to make some decorative for your uh, bra strap. Also for me, it is very good to recycle your old bra strap that is not looking so vibrant anymore. Once you cover it with fabric, it look like brand new. Uh, for the decorative piece, I usually use 8 inch long elastic or 20 centimeters. But you can see it's 11 inch. The reason I have 3 inch extra is when I'm sewing, I have 2 inch in the front and 1 inch on the bottom. When I'm pulling on, uh, on the sewing machine, it's just easy. Otherwise, um, after sew, the little piece on here and the bottom would don't have that much of the uh, decorative, the kind of like flat, just covered covered by fabric. But when if you got the extra on the top and, and the bottom, they will be all uh, unified when you're sewing it. So how do we? Uh, decide the width of the fabric and also the length of the fabric. So let's talk about the length first. So the strap elastic is going to be 8 inch or 20 centimeters. So when you pull to its maximum strength, so for here is 14 inch. So that means my fabric is going to be 14 inch long. So some uh, strap elastic have different uh, um, stretch percentage. So you just need to try how much it is. So it's, it might be different to each strap you're using. So just minus the three inch you're using for pulling and just stretch it to maximum. And that's the length of your fabric. For the width, we're going to use the, um, you're going to measure the width of your strap elastic. In this case, it's 12 millimeter. So you're going to times two of your um, strap elastic width plus 12 is a similar length. So I'm going to sew six. Uh, millimeter as my uh, similar length, so that's quarter inch. But if you want to uh, like uh, three eighths inch or one centimeter as your similar length, you need to add two centimeters here. Also, you're going to be adding one centimeter extra for wiggling room, so you need to turn them inside out. So for this case, that will be um, 24 plus 12 plus 10 will be 48 millimeters, so it's 4.8 centimeters here for the strap width. So once you got uh, everything cut out, we're going to move to the sewing machine. First, we're going to sew the fabric. Fold the fabric right side together. And we're going to sew a straight stitch. So my similarance is uh, six millimeter. So it depends on how much you similarance. So you just sew on the seam. So now you got the fabric ready. So now we're going to bring over our um, elastic. So we're going to line up the elastic like two inch or one and a half inch on the top just for pulling. And then the edge of the fabric and the elastic lined up. And I'm going to change to zigzag stitch. I'm using 2.0 in length and 4.0 for the width. 
So, okay, so. I'll pull the both end to its maximum and start sewing zigzag. That's what it looks like now. So after this, we're going to just use the loop turner, turn it inside out. So loop turner is my least favorite part of this uh, process. I usually very struggle to get them inside out. Let's see if I have any luck today to get them out quickly. Okay. This part usually is pinless. The part is a turning part. So you just go get this little piece of elastic in first and pull it. Okay. Usually this, the first little bit is the um, difficult one. Once they in, it's kind of easy to pull. Let's see. Okay, I'm in. Ooh -hoo. So after you got in, this is not too difficult. Just make sure you keep pulling. So you just need to pull. Oh, look at that. When it's uh, happening, it's so satisfying. Okay. When it's happening, it's good. So yeah, and then give a little stretch and look at that. So the seam will be in the middle on the back and they won't be moving around because they actually um, stitched onto the elastic. So you just need to trim off the extra bit. So I give it a bit too much on the top, not enough on the bottom. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the little video. I will see you next time. Bye.